Hello and welcome to this Django tutorial. Django is a Python web framework which is used to build web applications and in this series we will be developing a computer inventory management system. The front end will be um, HTML, CSS, some JavaScript to add some animations and styling to your front end. The back end will be the Python language. Okay, so in order for us to know what are we expected to do by the end of this tutorial, let me walk you through um, on to see the features of this particular application. You can see um, none of the menus are showing up except the home and the login button. So we need to log in first before any of these menus will be showing. So after logging in, you will see menus will be appearing up here. Okay, so let's log in to see um, what the features of the application is. We click on login and we type our username and password. Okay, so after logging in, the application will say welcome and your username, welcome Abaji in this case. We can add computers, we can view computers, we can also see the information about computers that has changed, what was their details before and what is their current details. Okay, if we click on view computers, currently we don't have any um, computer saved into the system. Let's try to add few computers. Let's say we have um, OJME IP is 192.168.1.1. The MAC address is okay. We choose our operating system. Username is the person who's using the computer is okay. The location is in the IT main or main hall and it is in the IT unit we click on save so you can see the system will notify you that it has been successfully saved the details that you submit is successfully saved and that is the computer that you're seeing um, listed in a table format that's the time and the day that it was added okay so we can click on the computer to see the details and we can change it let's say the computer is now uh, the or oh, let's say the IP is now 192.168.1.2 and we save it we can see now the IP has been updated to 1.2 okay let's add another computer say um, as a computer name IP 192.168.1. Let's say now I want to add an IP and I choose an IP which is already in the system and I fill the rest of the form. We click on save. Now, after clicking on save, you can see it says this IP is already assigned to OJAMME. So it will also do some uh, form validation. So I cannot use this IP. I will uh, use let's say 3 as my IP and I click on save. So this time it allows me to save it without any problem. Now if I go to orders and click on computer audit, you can see here it says I had entered this computer um, this date and time. It was never modified. It says edited none and it was added by my user account since I was the one logged in when I was adding this computer and later I modified it and this was where I changed the IP was 192.168.1.1 now the IP is 1.2 okay it was changed by me and this date and this time okay so this was the one I just entered now uh, and that's the date and time and it has never been modified okay so the app is doing some auditing stuff like if you add something it will it will keep a record of it who added when um, um, what was changed and if you change something yeah it will also keep a record of that you can export this list to an excel file by selecting that and click on search slash export that's the exported file I click on ok that's the exported file and it's a csv format and at the same time by when I'm viewing the computers I can also export it I can search by computer name or IP address or location let's say I'm, I want to search computer call okay I click on enter or I click on search it will filter it down to that computer when I blank all and click on search it will just run through and bring all the computers from the database so this information is also being saved to the database and the backend database is a MySQL database that we will be setting up and configuring and stuff like that so let's say now 
we want to add an operating system so we have our list of operating systems we want to add an additional operating system let's say windows 11 comes out and we click on settings okay so you click on add operating system and you put in the operating system let's say windows 10 comes out and you type windows sorry windows 11 yeah and you click on add okay it says successfully added now when i go back to my add computer i can see windows 11 is added yeah so um yeah so that's how you add computers the system also does like if i log in as an admin account or an account like an add computer it will let me add view or do other stuff so let's say i log in with another account which doesn't have functions uh, or the rights to do some function let's see how that works i'm logging in as c um f camera okay so f camera can add computers you can see um it allows us to view this particular form or to input um uh, the computers to the system it can also let us view the um the, the the computers we have in the system we can also view the auditing pad we cannot uh we cannot delete you can see the delete key is deactivated by clicking nothing will work and if i go to edit i click on it edit is working so i can edit but i cannot delete i can also view it now if i log in as another account let's say log in as another user and log in as oh Jamie. this other account can also add um can view computers and uh, cannot edit it says you cannot edit computers yeah so by clicking on this nothing is happening so it says i cannot edit and at the same time I cannot delete so i can only view okay so this is all um authentication stuff or authorization stuff that we'll be doing before the end of this uh, tutorial so that's what we hope to build by the end of this tutorial and i hope you will enjoy the tutorial subscribe and send in your comments yeah thank you